might imagine first responders have higher percentages of mental health disorders due to the constant stresses they encounter. This morning, Dr. Samantha Dutton from the University of Phoenix College of Social Sciences joins us live via satellite to talk about the fact that many of them don't get the help they need because they believe there is a stigma involved associated with getting help. Good morning, Dr. Dutton. Nice to have you with us. Good morning, thank you for having me. I understand this was revealed from a first responders mental health survey? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's talk about some of the stigmas that are associated with receiving mental health. Sure, you know, in our survey we did find that most uh, first responders are very comfortable speaking to their frontline supervisor. However, um, once they started formalizing the treatment process and receiving treatment from a mental health professional, they felt that there was some repercussions such as feeling um, different or their supervisor treating them different or their coworkers um, lo looking down on them or um, being passed over for um, promotion. However, rarely does seeking out mental health treatment affects someone's uh, job, it's only when um, they don't seek, seek it out is when it becomes an issue and things spiral out of control. It, can it be similar to PTSD since they're really seeing uh, traumatic things almost every day? Oh yes ma'am, the survey found that 85% of the first responders are experiencing mental health symptoms and a third of those, a third of those uh, first responders are receiving formal diagnosis such as PTSD and, and depression. Dr. Dutton, what can happen if this continues on and, and someone who is in that line of work does not receive the help that they need? Well, things can spin out of control and it can affect their family and their life, uh, work-life balance. You know, of, the, of those uh, first responders, a half of them did receive some sort of uh, pre-exposure um, training and another half had actually received treatment for their, or, or support for their um, after the traumatic event. But I'm just worried about the half that doesn't receive those. Right. Um, if we have someone in our family who is doing this or a friend, are there potential warning signs of a, of a health issue that might be brewing for down the road. Absolutely. If you if you notice yourself or your friends or family not hanging out with friends or you start drinking alcohol or drinking to excessive alcohol more than you usually have, um, not sleeping or getting angry easily, these are all things that should um, trigger the, the need to go see a mental health professional and seek out that help because you wouldn't necessarily not treat your cold or let a broken leg go untreated. You really need to have intervention to help with those issues at that point. And I can see where where, you know, I can see where, where the, 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 the problem comes in. You're talking about people who are used to being in control, whether they're first responders or they're police or they're firemen, and for them to have to admit that there's a problem here, that it's, it's, it's affecting them, and to have to go for help themselves, um, where they, I think some believe they should be tougher than that. You can see where that would be a problem um, as, as the years roll by. Oh, absolutely. You know, you, you don't want to be perceived as weak with, among your among your peers, but you know, if you look around, your peers are dealing with the same issues that you are. And we really want to, as a community, reach out and support these first responders. We want to make sure they have access to resources. You know, educate them on what's out there. Educate the community at large that mental health is not something to be ashamed of. In some way, we're all touched by mental health in our lives. Some some place along our lives, we have been touched by it. And so, we really want to reach out to those first responders and offer our support and and our help and to get them the help they need because we want them showing up at, at our emergency um, healthy and mentally healthy and ready to do their job. That is well said. Uh, where can viewers go for uh, more information, Dr. Dutton? You can go to www.phoenix.edu slash first responders and see the full results of our survey there. Thank you, Dr. Dutton, so much for this uh, helpful information. Hopefully people will get the message and they will get the help they need.